Azumo versus Antrezi. This is the fifth and final game of this semifinal round of your 2018 Hearthstone Championship Tour. I'm Heatwave, and with me is Deathlore. And Deathlore, how do you think this final match is going to go? Okay, uh, Antrezi has this game for sure. I mean, he's piloting his favorite deck, Murloc Paladin. We have seen him destroy the former world champion, and I don't think Azumo is good enough to stop him. You don't think Azumo, of all people, is the one to beat the guy who beat Tom 60229. Azumo is going for his 10th national or his 10th tournament win this year, and he is the epitome of consistency. <laughs> yeah, talking about consistency, you haven't seen his Murloc Paladin. I mean, you just go one drop into two drop into weapon and you just win the game. But I think both of them are ready to start, so yeah, let's let's move into the game. Well, I mean, this Zoo Warlock deck, it's not the Kelisef version. This isn't the trying to get some huge draw at the very beginning. It is, again, Azumo, just like this deck, is about consistency. He's running these vulgar homunculi. He is going to be trying to get on the board fast and buff up these demons. So the tribal tag is valuable in both of these decks. Demons for Azumo and Murlocs for Antrezi. Yeah, you have demons and you're talking about tribals, seriously. I mean, we have the health buff, we have war leader, we have Megasaur. I don't think the Murlocs care about the demons. I don't know, the demons are pretty evil. And right now, Antrezi didn't even want to play one of his Murlocs because the uh, threat of this uh, Cobalt Librarian. He's not even a demon and he's still afraid of this Zoo Warlock trading into him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has a lot of things to do with his own cards. He has the weapon, he has the call to arms. I'm sure, I'm sure he has something into his mind. Yeah, no matter what he does here, so he can coin out a uh, Rowling Blade here, which I, I was almost <laughs> going to say that he wasn't going to do that because the tight collar looked good, but he is afraid of these demons. That demon just scared him into playing that Rowling Blade. Yeah, probably he's playing around Demon Fire. Uh, and Trizzy definitely no knows uh, what's up. I would probably not still play the Rowling Blade, but... Oh, and you know what? The Elementals are coming out to play for the Zoo Warlock too. <laughs> This deck just punished that play hard. The Rallying Blade isn't going to be able to attack, and it's going to give the trading initiative to Azumo for this next turn. These Murlocs are just going to be sitting there to get eaten by Azumo. Eaten? You're going to just develop a 3-4 here. How are you going to remove it? Uh, well, I mean, we can see that Azumo has this soul fire. He's just going to go, om nom 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 nom, and then this Murloc type caller is going to go, dead. And ah. you know what? He also gets another demon buff. These demons are huge, and there's nothing entries he can do about it right now, unless he does have these two cards coming up these next two turns. Wow. I mean, call to arms here. Do you have anything in your in your deck? Do you think Azumo has anything that can beat a call to arms? And especially this call to arms summons two Murlocs and a Divine Shield Taunt Minion. I cannot recall any single one drop that is that strong in your own in your Azumo's deck. Well, I mean, we do have something a little taunt minion called the Void Walker, and Azumo just picked it up. And Azumo has these cards. He had two of them. Thankfully, he discarded one of them from Soulfire. This Spellbreaker is normally a card that doesn't even want to play against these Murlocs. But right now, it just took out that Divine Shield, enabling that one health Munculus to make another favorable trade. Even the control tech cards are beating the Murlocs right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's let's go. Second call to arms. Do you think Azumo can beat it? And with a knife juggler actually popping out, ah, kind of the jugglers do not go there, unfortunately, on the Void Walker. But yeah, I think Antrezi still has a fair chance of winning this game. He's able to trade the, the Righteous Protector into the Void Walker to play around a possible uh, Dreadlord, which is a demon, as always. Yeah, that's definitely a threat in any Zoo Warlock deck, and Azumo does have it, so if he makes these attacks, he's playing the heads-up play. But let's take a little uh, meandering walk into Antrezi's hand. He has Divine Favor. That card is just going to be a dead tech card in this matchup, unlike Azumo's Spellbreakers. You know what? I mean, Azumo is always playing the card on the right side, so 
I'm pretty sure Atrizi knows what's up and what is uh, remaining in Azumo's hand. Now, yeah, uh, I think Azumo is going to get rid of all the Murlocs. They live to tell the tale, but... Okay, okay, he will, he will leave one on the board. Opts to clear, oh, yeah. to leave the Knife Juggler instead. Uh, the Knife Juggler and the Murloc Tide Color are two very scary cards. And, I mean, if he really thinks that there's something scary still, still sitting in Azumo's hand, at least it's only one card. The Divine Favor is still getting no value. But, <laughs> that I gotta say, the one thing that this, Mur this Paladin deck has against Zoo Warlock are these weapons, and he just drew a great one. Yeah, when the weapon is red, I'm so happy. Usually when I play Paladin, it's always yellow, and... <laughs> yeah, Purifier Small is definitely the best option here. And Riz is able to clear the Spellbreaker, and develop a secret, and develop two Divine Shield Minions. That's insane! Ooh, Repentance here could be good against this Despicable Dreadlord, or something else, but there's no way any Murloc Paladin player is going to pick that against Zoo Warlock with such cheap, small minions. So he goes for I for an I. Twitch chat must be going crazy right now. We haven't <laughs> seen that in so long. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it was a thing back in the day when Freeze Mage was dominant, but we haven't seen the card being played in the last six months or what in a competitive tournament. At the very least. Oh, but he might have been trying to play or trying to bluff that Ooh. it was Noble Sacrifice, setting the Crystal Weeper to two health, but Azuma will have none of it attacking straight into the face with this Crystal Weaver. And he can... Uh, and Treezy's down to six health. He could set him down to one, but instead he's choosing to play that Despicable Dreadlord to develop more threats and probably have more damage coming out of his hand next That's turn. a huge draw, actually, with a war leader. We have seven oh, on the geez. board. Yeah, that can actually be lethal. Oh. Lightning speed. He oh, doesn't oof. get it. We dodged it, Azuma. We dodged it. And you know what? Even the massive adaptation there for Taunt would have allowed Antrisi to protect himself from these onslaughts of powerful demons that Azumo has been throwing at him. And you know what? Antrisi is coming up with kind of the, the not something that he was looking for here at all. Yeah, Antrisi being slightly unlucky here, but still Poison Speed and Flaming Claws are decent options and it means he can deal with uh, with Azumo's board right now and just leave a world leader and the Megasaur on the board. Yeah, he did. This line of play did enable him to have lethal, possibly, and Flaming Claws can set his opponent to one. However, there are two minions on the board with six health on the Uther, so this is not going to go well if he goes face. So he is going to be trading, and he's choosing to leave Poisonous on this Murloc after he trades. Oh, oh but he's no. not respecting damage out of the hand. Wow. Okay, I have to give it to Antrisi. I mean, this guy this guy has a lot of courage. Unfortunately, taking too much damage with a weapon, being so liberal, was his own demise. And we have to say goodbye to Antrisi, but what a run from the newcomer. Azumo, big demon, out of hand, popping him in the face, ending the game, showing why he is going on to the finals right after this, and he is going to continue and crushing this year. It is amazing. I mean, Antrezi, it's not easy being Antrezi, but you know what? He almost pulled it off. He set up lethal. He had ways of winning that game, but it looks like he can't upset another favorable matchup. Wow. What so you know what? Game. Yeah. Yeah. With that, we're going to have to move on to the next semifinal round and see who's going to be going up against Azumo right after this. That was one heck of a game.